Dev, the new season's just around the corner now. How much are you looking forward to getting going? Yeah, a lot. I really, really don't enjoy pre-season. Um, and there's not many players, I think, that do. But actually, from my point of view, it's been a bit frustrating picking up a little, uh, little niggle at a thorn and pretty much not getting the, quite the game time I wanted to go into the season with. But, and again, if I'm going to miss games, I'd rather miss games in pre-season and be fit for the season. So, I'm no, just uh, looking forward to, to Saturday now. How is the, the body feeling now? <laughs> well, it feels all right at the moment. I've got... A, Two or three sessions under my belt now since uh, since I've got pain free. So, I mean, either way, no matter how much work you do in pre season, the first 10 15 minutes, everyone's going to be blowing. Um, and then you get your sort of second wind. So, um, hopefully, I'll be able to have enough in me to uh, to help the team in some way on Saturday. And uh, fingers crossed we can get a positive result. Since Russ came in, you've taken on additional coaching duties as well. How have you found that so far? I always enjoy telling the lads what to do, um, regardless. So, um, I mean, it's, it's sort of less about the, the coaching side, just probably more the organisational side, and um, and just adding my opinion on on the way I think we're we're, we're doing things, we're doing well, things we're not doing well, and, and how they can be used, and just hopefully adding adding a little bit of help for for Russ and Steve and for them to take it into into the sessions they've put on and into the way we we approach games. Obviously, you haven't been able to be on the pitch for a lot of pre-season, but how have you kind of found it for the for the rest of the lads? How's it gone? Yeah, I think especially the, um, the last few games. I mean, it's, it's always tough to tell because pre-season um, means nothing. Come the end of the season, come, come this weekend, you, you never quite tell. But all we can do is take the positives out of, um, especially the last two games, the um, the Halifax game and, and the first sort of 70 minutes of the, of the Scunthorpe game, where it was their first team versus you know our first team. We more than matched two teams who who should be um, pushing at the top end of the league above. So. Yeah, if we t if we take that that kind of work ethic and, and and way of performance into the season, then you know we'll we'll, we'll give everyone a, a, a game, which is which is the aim. It's just probably uh, a little bit of um, missing a little bit of, uh, of strength in depth with with the two or three injuries we've got, um, and 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 sort of we saw that a bit last year where you know, in a lot of games we did very well for sort of seventy odd minutes, and when you just want that little bit extra off the bench um, to sort of push the team along, um, sometimes with the, with the depth of squad we had, we we missed that. So. Um, hopefully we won't have that issue this season. How have the new lads all settled in over the last few weeks? Yeah, no, really well. I mean, it's, it's you know, being a bit biased. It's probably it's a, I feel it's a good squad to come into. You know, we've got a core who are here for you know a long time now, and and, and we we kind of try and impress the lads as soon as they come in. The, the ethos and and the way that the squad fits together and, and what we expect from each other. So, you know, we, we don't let them sort of. You know, not know what is expected of them, and, and I think that gives you know I'd feel the same coming into a squad if, if the expectation levels were set straight away. You know, you know where you stand. So um, you know, they've all come in and done well, and, and I think they all add, add something to the team, and, and it's going to be exciting to see a few of them, and especially the likes of Gratz and Frank, who obviously came in last year, but now they're coming in properly. Right, you know, got the pre-season, and they're both looking really good, really strong in pre-season. I'm excited to see what they can do. And what are we? What are you looking to achieve this season as a group? I think you know when you when you look at last season um, and you look at the seasons before that, you know we've always won every game, but we've always been competing. And, you know we've made it really really hard for every team we play against. We've taken big scalps because the big teams don't like playing against us. Um, and I think that consistency of performance um, and, and drive and, and work rate in a game. I think that's all, all I want to see from, from the lads and, and we know if we do that, more often than not, we're going to be picking up points and I think it's it's consistently picking up points and that doesn't mean three points every game. It's and You look at last season, I think we took about nine points away from home, also. We, we can't do that again. So it's, it's how we pick up points, maybe when we're not playing well, maybe when a team is playing well against us and we're, we're under pressure for large portions of the game. You know, th those are the, the things that I want to see this year and if we do that, then know we'll be looking up the table rather than down and we are on the road to start off with this season away at Leamington on Saturday what are your expectations going into that one I um, mean it'll be a very tough game I mean Leamington probably similar to ourselves have always been um, pegged as, as going to be strugglers and, and, and have always been you know d done really well at, you know the physical side a bit like ourselves and, and the games you, and you always know you've been in the game and you know obviously we got a positive result against them towards the end of last season um, when we were in a sort of good run of form so you know we know we can do it. It's, it's about going down there, you know, with the long trip and and putting the kind of performance in that, that means we can get something a bit like we did the start of last season away at Hereford.